Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV, and the plan for today's episode is to do Izumiyan's quest, level 5, Trial by Earth. We are the Conjurer, and currently I am a level 31, so I've been leveling up our Conjurer, so we're ready to go through pretty much all of his quest. It's good to see you again, Blind. By the air of serenity that surrounds you, it is plain you have learned to draw upon the energy of creation. I am glad. It is the wellspring of all our power, yet the energy of creation is not one thing but many. And to call upon it all without first knowing, each is conjury at its most basic. As a part of your continuing education, it is my desire that you now learn about the element of earth. Make your way to Bless Bud in North Shroud and there partake of Hearer Nolan's wisdom. The depth of his affinity for elementals of rock and soil is all but unique amongst con conjurers and he is a gifted instructor besides. You may be certain of receiving a most enlightening lesson on the subject of earth. Okay, so we're gonna have to fast travel to Fall Grout Float, North Shroud. And then we are heading east, and we are going to take flight today. Okay, here is Nolan. You seek Kira Nolan, then seek more no more, for you have found him. What can I do for you, my friend? So, Brother Isumiyan bid you come to me to learn of the element of Earth. That is well. The power of earth is the solid foundation upon which a conjurer stands. I could happily lecture you for days on its intrigue, variations, and properties, but I rather suspect the busy life of an adventurer would not afford the time required for such extended discourse. Accordingly, I shall offer you an opportunity to experience the qualities of earth firsthand in combat. Now mark me well and do exactly as I command. East of here, in the grounds of Tree Speak Stables, there exists a patch of soil that bears the mark of corruption. Seek it out. When you have found the blaze, reach out to the focus of the Earth's trauma and attempt to commune with it, as all conjurers can. Resentful of your intrusion, the tainted, being that feast unseen upon the energies seeping from the wounded earth shall then appear, using the powers of country, strike it down and permit the land a chance to heal. Much of the nature of earth will be revealed to you during the struggle. I trust you will return to me a wiser woman than she who now departs. Okay, it looks like it's just right here. Here's some corrupted soil. Yeah, that was easy enough. Welcome back, the elementals whisper of your accomplishments. How did it feel to confront that embodied of Earth, to endure its onslaught? Has the crushing power of this element shaken the very marrow of your bones? Corruption occurs when the land's wounds are prevented from healing. In vanquishing the tainted sprite, you permitted the earth energies to flow unimpeded and to nourish the land once more. Can you not sense the strength of the earth returning? Already the land begins to heal. Thanks to your actions, that field will once again bear bountiful crops. 
when next you have reason to call upon your art, look back upon this task and that which you accomplished. Experience once more the grinding weight of the earth's fury, and revel in the memories of life flowing anew through the land you helped restore. With such thoughts shall you understanding of nature continue to grow. I hope you were paying attention, Sifili. See, this adventurer here, flying, came all the way from Stillgate Fane just to hear my lesson. You would do well to learn for her example. If you wish to become a conjurer worthy of the name, you must make an effort to study nature. Do you attend me, young lady? Why should I bother studying nature? I can conjure already. See? You have a rare gift for healing, Syphily. A wonderful gift. Yet there is more to being a conjurer than... But I don't want to do more. I want to heal. I'm good at healing. You can't make me do those other things. Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Sifili joined the guild shortly before you came to us, as you yourself just experienced. She possesses a prodigious talent for healing. Indeed, despite her tender years, I know of a few conjurers who are her equal in that field. Alas, nature, the very wellspring of her power, holds no interest for the child, and when she should be right, be learning about the land, she prefers instead to wander it, healing people on a whim. You, in contrast, have been a most attentive student. I have taught you all I know of the element of Earth. You may report back to Brother Izumi, and tell him as much. All right, looks like that completed it for him. Let's go back to the Conjurer's Guild. Okay, ready to turn in our quests to E. Sumiyan. Ah, Flyin, you have returned, but tell me, how did you fare under Nolan's expert tutelage? Have you delved deep into the earth and felt its suffocating weight, its life-sustaining vigor? Such experiences will serve you well, and have you aught else to report, hmm? A fledgling conjurer named Sifli cast her healing magic upon us. How kind of her. I must confess to Sherry Nolan's frustration with the girl. As you yourself has witnessed, Sifli possesses a natural talent for the conjuring, uh, mending, and restoration. Alas, her gift appears to have blinded her to the need for the study, and she outright refuses to learn about the natural world. She knows nothing of the element and of earth and wind, and is quite incapable of conjuring even the tiniest pebble or the faintest breeze. I have tried upon numerous occasions to explain to her that conjurers who are ignorant of the sources of the power pose a risk to themselves and others, but all to no avail. Should she continue to deny the depth she owes the nature and indulge in every more reckless displays of power, there is every possibility that she will create a dangerous imbalance. Needless to say, I am pres presently at a loss to know how such an ev eventuality might be prevented. 
Ah, a thought occurs to me. It may be that you encounter with Sifli was ordained by the elements. Should you chance to meet with her again, I ask that you strive to impress upon her the importance of opening oneself to the nature's voice. Mayhap she will listen to you. But we have to discuss our wayward young friend's education enough. Let us speak instead of one of my more willing pupils, namely you. The progress you have made does you great credit. Though you are yet new to the art of country, you are no stranger to the nature's embrace. Considering all that you have learned, I hope you understand the true significance of these words. Okay, just gonna take the money because all these are really low. I already have my gear set up for our level. Okay, it looks like our next episode is gonna be the level 10 trial by win, and that's for the Isumi Yan Guildmaster quest. And with that, this will complete our episode for today. Thanks again for watching this Final Fantasy 14 episode. We will see you on the next video.